ready. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Pikeville High School for one of the biggest rivalries in uh, East Kentucky sports, the football game between Belfry and Pikeville here at Pikeville High School tonight. And, Larry, this one has been uh, a rivalry for years. Belfry's kind of owned uh, control of it for the past few years, though. Yes, they have. Uh, I was trying to get my sheet out here. It's the 54th meeting between the two schools, and uh, Belfry holds the uh, – 32-18 uh, record in the games, and uh, of course, uh, you know, that's uh, throughout the years, but uh, both teams coming in undefeated. Uh, Belfry has uh, not played a 3A school. They've beat a 6A and two 5As, and Pikeville 4-0, uh, and, oh, and uh, they've played uh, up a couple games, a uh, 2A school, so uh, Big rivalry, and, and uh, both these programs get to see where they stand. You know, it's, it's, it's a, me uh, a measuring stick game for both the programs a lot of times. You're right. That's true. You know, and we talk about both these coaches. I was talking to coaches before the ball game. Both of these teams have a hard time finding games in their class especially. That's why you see both of them playing up quite a bit because they both got a lot of history and, uh, you know, quite frankly, they're both uh, they're two of the best programs in Eastern Kentucky. You know, whether we're looking at about uh, six or seven state championships out there between them. Yeah, and, and Belfry is the def defending uh, uh, state uh, 3A champion. So, uh, and being in, what, five of the last six championship games, I yep. think, maybe? And, uh, maybe so more you, than that. Maybe more than that. Just premier programs. I mean, you know, when you uh, talk Pikeville and Belfry, they uh, are two of the top programs in the mountains. Yep. Looks like, uh, let's see, did Pikeville win the toss and defer? Is that what I got there, Larry? That, that was it. Uh, I, was, I didn't get all the captains for uh, Belfry there. You can try to get them, but uh, Austin Charles and uh, Cody Eastep, Derek Pugh, and Big Bryson uh, Patton was the four captains out for Pikeville. Looks like uh, 57. Let's see, that's Jonathan Webb. And also number five is Austin Hatfield for Belfry. They only had the two, of course. That was uh, 67. 67, okay, I'm sorry. Drew, Drew Mullins. Mullins. Okay. Yeah. And both teams with their tunnels out there. As the Belfry brought just their cheerleaders out today. Pikeville with the cheerleaders in their pep club getting ready to make their entrance onto the field here. And Pikeville think we're setting off the fireworks this evening. And that's not a forest fire coming down here with all that smoke, Larry. I know it's been a little dry <laughs> last few days, but. Well, you, you couldn't uh, go out and get a good uh, enough dry. <laughs> you couldn't get enough dry stuff still yet to get a good fire started That's right true. now. That's true. That is true. But, you know, beautiful evening for football. Probably supposed to be in the mid-60s here tonight. Uh, and we went, what, three or four days without any rain now. So Possibly down into the 50s, you know, uh, later on tonight. I think this morning about 54 or 55 degrees. But uh, great football weather. That's exactly right. Belfry is taking the sideline. Here comes Pikeville out onto the field. We're about 20 seconds away from the kickoff, and I expect this to be a pretty good one. I, I do, too. Uh, you know, uh, Belfry, uh, of course, you know, you can't go by their scores, you know, as far as they do, because, you know, uh, Coach Haywood, once he gets up on the team, see that he's got him beat, he's, uh, you know, known to uh, play a lot of second and third stringers, get him that experience. Uh, of course, Pikeville has put some big numbers up. We've seen a couple games here uh, when they played uh, uh, Hazard, and uh, then uh, they put 62 up against uh, – uh, 
Plainsville, so uh, high scoring offense. Uh, Derek Pugh, one of the top runners in the state, 14 touchdowns on the ground, one through the air. Uh, so uh, fans is uh, out on their feet, uh, stands is packed, and I think they're here to see a treat tonight. Well, you know, it could be an offensive show, it, you know, but now Belfry's defense and Pyle's defense will have something to say about that. You know, Belfry's exactly defense right. has been, been stout. Belfry with a stable of running backs over there. They, they'll, they'll run four or five running backs at you tonight. Uh, Pike will also with some other weapons too. You know, they've got some good wide receivers out there for them. You look at Ben Maynard out there has been a, been a real good receiver. And you also got Cody Eastep. Cody Eastep. He's got some serious speed on the corners. So, You're right. you know, it's going to be interesting to see which uh, team gets, gets the breaks here tonight. And, uh, you know, then Blake Charles, you know, you throw him in. He's, he can run the ball yep. stuff, too. And, and uh, uh, of course, uh, Pikeville mixes it up. You know, yep. they can run a spread offense and throw it, or they can line it up, you know, and do the power game, run it. Uh, Belfry, uh, 80% of the time, is going to go with right. the power game. So, Belfry is set to kick off. We're waiting yep. for the well, – you uh, know, uh, A.J. Vanderbeck back deep as well as uh, East step for Pikeville. And A.J. Vanderbeck just now coming back, I think, from an injury off – all season and that ball is going to be kicked oh out of bounds at the one yard line Larry and it'll be brought out to the 20 I think well they either kick it over or they get was it five yards on top of the went out of bounds at or no 35 comes out to 35 right to high 35 school, yeah. right or is it the 40 in high school now no it's it's 35 okay so it'll be first and ten from the you, 35. You've got, you got three choices. you got a choice of taking the five-yard penalty and re-kick, and you take it at the 35 or take where it, it where it goes out of bounds. Okay. Well, they weren't going to take it at one. It's actually not the 35. It's actually 25 yards from the place it was kicked. They, okay. If you do a normal kickoff, that's where it's at. In the shotgun now for Pikeville. And Charles hands it off and trying to come to the outside and drilled is Ben Maynard. Then Maynard gets about a yard, maybe. And that's what they're going to give him, one yard. It'll be second down and nine coming up now for Pike. Pike will it's gonna be interesting. Belfry will run that uh, same defense. They'll run that, what looks like a 3-4 or a 4th. They're running run a 4-3. Uh, let's see, 4-3 uh, right now looks like. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're going to run the 4-3. No, it's 3-4. It's, it's three, okay, they got three down line line pulled yeah. up, yeah. Right. Charles back to throw this time. Has time going deep, looking for East step down the field. He is covered. Beautiful defense that time by Belfry. That was number four, Keaton Taylor uh, for Belfry right on the uh, – he, he's also the quarterback, but uh, great uh, uh, defensive coverage that time. And uh, he was right with East step and that's saying something in itself. Exactly. That was impressive defense, right? Because East step going downfield, usually he'd get a step on you. You know, I'm sure they're, they're giving him a little bit of a cushion and, and backpedaling with him, too on those sides. Now the five will go five wide or four wide. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Charles in the shotgun. Pew back there with him. And we've yet to see Pew touch the football here, Larry. Well, they, you know, uh, he's he's their main running uh, threat, and, and Charles Belfry knows that too. So, plenty of protection for Charles. He gets the pass away. Maynard catches it, but it'll be short of the first down out at about the 42-yard line. They're going to pick up about uh, seven. So they'll bring up uh, eight. about six. Or yeah, given. fourth and about three now coming up for Pike. Well, we have a flag, and it's on Belfry. Maybe roughing the passer. Let's see. I, I was watching the ball again. Yeah, I didn't that's pretend. back in that area there uh, where that's at, and they're marking it off 15-yard uh, or so. Uh, that's what we'll call it. So big, big, big break there for Pike. Well, they'll get the first down now at the 43-yard line of Belfry. Trips right, one wide out left. In the pistol this time is Charles. Takes it, and he's going to keep it himself. Charles trying to get to the outside, and Belfry brings him down after a short gain out to about the 40, a gain of three. About three. Yep. That's uh, number five, Austin Hatfield, for the uh, on the tackle for Belfry. Yeah, we need to keep those tackles, don't we? We're, we're, we're trying to. Yep. <laughs> Got limited space here tonight that we can work with. Right. Trips left again, one wide out right. Charles in the shotgun this time. Pew back there with him. Second down and seven. Pew. Doug going to hand, face it to Pew. Hand throws it over again to Maynard. Maynard on the little flanker. Little hitch pattern, I guess you'd call it. Larry gets about two yards. Going to get about two is all he's going to get. 
So Maynard has had a couple of catches though so far. Pible really uh, mixing it up here, trying to throw the ball more against this Belfry defense. Well, uh, you know, they're uh, trying to get the defense spread out, and uh, then it gives Derek Pugh a better chance, you know, when he gets the ball to run it. First drive off the ball game, Pipe will in Pipe in Belfry territory at the 38 yard line. Third down and five, we'll call it. Trips left, one wide out right again. Charles in the shotgun, and this time he's going to throw it across the middle. That's going to be caught by A.J. Vanderbeck for a first down at the 25 yard line. Beautiful throw that time by Charles. Well, I tell you, you got to give the Bell, uh, Pipewell defense, offensive line a lot of credit. They've given him time to throw the football. They have. A couple times they've rolled him out, you know, to uh, help uh, Charles out. Again, they'll go trips left, one wide out right. Charles will go out of the shotgun. Charles takes a snap, and this time he's going to hand it to Pew. Pew loses the football. Belfry is going to try to scoop it, and they do. Belfry scooping, and he's got one man to beat, and he is going to take it to the house. That is number two, T. Dotson, with the Belfry touchdown on the defensive end, and that is going to be a, what, uh, he picked it up. He picked up around the uh, 30 or 35-yard line, was it for sure. Yeah, somewhere, about a, somewhere in the 70-yard range. 65 to 70 yards. And who, who was that, Dotson? Number two, T. Dotson. Didn't see who got the lick. Nope. But the first turnover of the ball game goes to Belfry, and they put six on the board. And that was uh, the first uh, time that Pugh touched the ball. Yep. Took a shot. So Belfry on to attempt the extra point here, try to make it a 7 to nothing lead with 9.17 to go here in the first quarter. And I'll tell you what, that, he just he just had one man to beat once he scooped that ball, and, and he just couldn't catch him. Right. Well, it was a big lineman, uh, number 71, Patton, uh, chasing him, and yep. uh, didn't yeah. have a chance. The extra point is good. It's 7 to nothing, Belfry with 9.17 to play here in the first quarter. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Here in the first quarter, Belfry takes a 7-0 lead on a 65-yard fumble return uh, by uh, Dotson. And they're set to kick it off, and here's Charlie. And they're going to kick it down, and Pipewell's going to let this one go out of bounds again. A.J. Vanderbeck uh, paying it, watching over, make sure it's going to go out of bounds, and they'll bring it out to the 35 again, Larry. Well, they're uh, trying to keep it away from Eastep, and uh, right now they're shooting themselves in the foot by giving Pipewell good field position. Pipewell was able to drive it that time and had the aid of the rough and the passing penalty, but, you know, the uh, fumble uh, put on the ground, run in for a touchdown, so uh, kind of backfired on them a little bit. Well, you know, that's true, Ben. Pipewell was moving the football, especially with those little short passes. Right, right. Crips right, one wide out left. In the shotgun again is Charles. Pew back there with him. And he's going to hand it to Pew again. Pew, man, he gets stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Yep. He might uh, get one yard out of it. I'm going to give him a positive game, but it's going to be a yard at most. Big number 66 for uh, Belfry. Uh, that's Caleb Whit making the initial hit, and then he had plenty of help. Yeah. I tell you what, that, that front uh, front four is going to be hard to run, or three is going to be hard to run against in Belfry. Well, uh, we don't have the uh, the weight and everything, but there are three pretty good sized youngins out yes, there. Yes, they are. Shotgun again, twins each way now for Charles. Charles back to throw, and he's being chased this time, and he's going to try to run with it, and he's going to get tripped up, and he. He'll, he'll finish off the yard. That was a uh, tackle by Dotson, the uh, quarterback, number, uh, or uh, Taylor. excuse me, uh, what, number two? Wasn't number it? two, Dotson? okay. Yeah, T. Dotson. T. Dotson. He, okay. he was one He's that one had uh, the fumble recovery. Had the fumble recovery, so uh, knocks him down, no gain. Now they'll go Crips to the right, one wide out left. Charles in the shotgun. Charles rolling out one to throw on the run. He's got a man. That's going to be Eastep, and he's got a first down. Beautiful catch that time by Eastep. Gain of 10. Good job to keep his feet inbounds to get him the first down. 
Knight will come trying to take back back where they started off before they fumbled the football area. They're moving it. They're just kind of picking away at this Belfry defense, what they're giving him. They have. They've got a total of four yards on the ground, but they've got 26 yards through the air so far. We've got a whistle out there. The white hat getting ready to. He's looking at the scoreboard. He might have seen something on the scoreboard. Maybe a time or something wrong. So maybe they're they 751 on the clock or three seconds off somewhere. Yeah. And Pible lining up with trips right, one wide out left. Charles in the shotgun. Now we're ready. Yep. Now we're ready to go back to play here. Charles takes a snap and he's throwing it out wide or short. It'll be picked, caught. That's number 11, uh, Clay Sloan with the catch. And he'll go down at the 49 yard line, just shy of the 50. Gain of about three. Three, yep. Second and seven coming up now for Pike. And that was again Dotson with the tackle. Dotson making a name for himself early, isn't he? Yeah, they've got him listed. Uh, as a uh, defensive end, uh, not very, very tall, but uh, and now he switches side. He he must be uh, mirroring. Uh, look like he's going to go where Maynard's at. Here's yep. Pew. No, that's uh, Charles keeping yep. it. Yep. Try to give it to Pew there. Yep. Charles going to pick up three. And didn't see who was in on the tackle on that one. And it'll be second or third down and three now coming up for Pikeville. Trips to the right, one wide out left again. Charles in the shotgun, Pew back there with him. Charles looks back to the sideline again for the call. Three, they're going to have to call timeout, about to run out of play clock. So, yeah. 7 nothing. Belfry with 6.27 to go here in the first quarter. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. And welcome back to Pikeville. 6.27 here in the first quarter. 7-0, Belfry on top. Pikeville with it third and three from uh, Belfry's, uh, what's that, 47-yard line, John? Yep, that's what it is. In the shotgun, trips right, one wide out left. Charles back there along with Pew. And he fakes to Pew, hand throws a little swing pass out again, and nowhere for him to go. Got about a yard. He's going to be, sh well, they got a, oh, he got a good spot there. That's going to be. He's still going to be short. Play Sloan, he got a good spot. Nope, H now they're moving him back in. Hatfield with the tackle. And he's going to be about to lift the football short, looks like. Well, I don't know. Now they uh, yep. they moved him up uh, across the line a little bit. Yep. That, that might be close. Might have to call for a measurement us here. Let's see where no, they're going to call it fourth down. He's well, He's got to get to that uh, hash mark, the yard marker, and he is, like I say, about the length of a football away. Who Was that Sloan with the catch? Yeah, it was. It was number 11, Sloan. And Pikeville's going to go for it. They're going to show and go for it. Not in, they're in the shot. Yeah, they're in that. Oh, man, there goes Pew. First down outside the 40-yard line. Nice pickup. He gets down to the 37-yard line. Pickup of eight for Derek Pew. Caught the 38th where they're going to spot him at. Big play right there for Pikeville, keeping that drive going. Yes, it was. You know, Coach showing a lot of confidence in those young men out there to let them go for it there. So first and 10, Pike will now trips to the right, one wide out left. Let's see what kind of play they come up with. They're looking over to the sideline now, trying to get it down to seven seconds on the play clock. And they're going to have to hurry up and get this one away. In the shotgun, Charles takes the quick snap, and he's the, oh, looks like they moved. He's either moved, delay a game or something. It came from the side judge, so it should be movement on somebody. And it looks like it's going to be procedure on Pikeville. Yep. Moves them back to the 43-yard line. It'll be first and 15 now for the Panthers. Pikeville. 
I won't have to rush at that time, running out of time on the play clock. Yeah, they're going to have to start getting their plays in a little quicker. They, uh, a couple of plays before that, they had to call a timeout. So yeah. uh, a little slow on deciding what they want to run. Play clock already down to four, uh, 12 seconds. Shire, there's that pistol formation. Charles rolling out wanting to throw, and he's got some time. Throws it across the middle to be caught. And let's see who is Number that. Number 21, I think it is. That would be uh, Caleb, Caleb Skeens. Skeens. Yep. It'll be. Where are they going to mark him at? At the 30, 34 yard line. So uh, be a pickup of four or. Well, they've got him. They says 44 on the scoreboard, but it's a 34. Pick up a four. There's a handoff in the backfield, trying to get to the outside is Pew, and he gets his feet taken away from him out there. Let's see, that number three, number three. Zondre Willis. And Willis knocks him back inside the, to about the 37 yard line looks like, maybe, yep, yeah, about the 37. So bring up third down and nine. Another big third down situation for Pyle. Pyle has been able to convert. Well, Pyle's converted every time except for the fumble. They have. They mean, yeah, but Belfry has not stopped them on made them pun or stopped them on downs yet. Trips right, one wide out left. Carl's in the shotgun. He's looking to throw. Has times all day long back there this time. And he's going to try to run it himself. And he's going to try to, he's going to get down close to the 30 yard line, but that's going to be short of the first down. I look for Pike to go for it oh, here. Yeah, because yeah down so on the 30 yard line and, and about what, two yards short? Yep. So nice, nice play. And I mean, good coverage by the Belfry defense, but a smart heads up play by Charles to take what they gave him. Right, and uh, got to give some credit for that uh, Panthers offensive line right now. Charles with a lot of pressure. Yep, had all or kinds of time. Yeah. Time, yeah, a lot of time, no pressure at all. He probably could have took a picnic lunch back there with him at time. And he's hit five different receivers already, Charlie. And now they're going to go with the split backs in the backfield. Back to throw with Charles, throwing it out. Got a man. He's got a first down and more. Is that Pew? That is Pew down the sideline. And Pew gets run out of bounds near the 10-yard line. First down, Panthers. I'm not sure who ran him out. I couldn't see from the I crowd. I couldn't either. So first and goal from the 10 now for Pikeville. 20-yard gain. 2.49 to go in the first. Pikeville threatening now. Split backs again, back to throw. Charles looking, looking. Now he's running, looking, looking. And now he's going to tuck it and run. And he's going to run out of bounds. Down near the five-yard line. We're going to mark him right at the five. Second down and goal now from the five. And, you know, good job by the Pikeville offensive line again and a good job by the Belfry defense as they had everybody covered. That's 15 yards on the ground for Charles on four carries. He's uh, by far their leading uh, rusher right now. Eight of nine through the air for 55 yards. Kind of what we expected. There's that pistol with an eye formation in it. And they're going to give it to Pew, and Pew bounces down inside the one-yard line. Mark him at the one, just actually inside the one, just short of the goal line. We'll give him four yards on it. So third and goal now from the one for Pikeville. And I guess we're going to stand up there. Third and goal from the one-yard line for Pikeville. There's the pistol formation with that eye. There comes Pew, Pew into the end zone for the touchdown. 7-6 now. Pike will try to tie it up with an extra point here. 2.15 to go in the first quarter. And Pikeville's offense has controlled this first quarter for all but this 2.15 left. They have. Pugh going across the right side that time behind the block of big number 71, Patton. Bryson Patton with the big block. Pugh went right off his uh, and, and was untouched into the end zone. There's the extra point. It is good. So we're tied at seven with 2.15 to play here in the first on the Intermountain Sports Network.
Back to Pikeville, we're all tied up at 7 to 15 here in the first quarter. Pikeville will kick it off to Belfry, and here's Charlie. A little squib kick, and Belfry letting it bounce and picking it up back at about the 20-yard line. And a good deep, good job by the Pikeville defense that time to get down there. It was number 29, Jacob Tincher on the return, and a host of Panthers are all around him. Yeah, number uh, 12, Cody uh, Dials, uh, was the uh, leading tackler on that. He had some help uh, with uh, a couple of teammates. Mark him at about the 17-yard line, so you know, Belfry trying to let him get back into that third tier to get a good return on, and Pikeville just came through that front line and got all over it. Yeah, it's, it's got nice, uh, nice bounces on that uh, little squib kick. And Belfry in that, uh, I guess that's a wing T look, Larry. Yes. Double slot or whatever in, you want Inverted call. wishbone, all kinds of different names for it. And Keaton hand, takes it, hands it off over on the right side and taking off down. Is that Willis? Zandre Willis gets down to the 45-yard line. And Big see, pick up. Seen some speed there. East step uh, was uh, chasing Willis, and uh, both of those guys are sprinters. Yes, sir. Coming down there in a hurry, wasn't it? This they was. And it'll bring up a first down for Belfry at the 46-yard line where they mark him down at. 29-yard gain quickly. Belfry back up again in that same look, that wing T look. Now they're going to hand it off over on the right side this time and a pickup of about five on the play this time. Who is that? That uh, was number five, Hatfield, five Hatfield, I think. Hatfield, okay. Austin Hatfield. So we got him and Zandre Willis in the backfield. And let's see. Looks like it may be number nine, Caleb Edwards, back there too, I think. And they're going to go again with that uh, double slot. Single back in the backfield. Now they're going to run it out to hand it right up the middle. And not much. Pyro with a good surge that time as Austin Hatfield gets stopped for no gain. No gain. Third down coming up now for Belfry. And that was big number 71 in on the tackle tonight. Patton. Good play right there for Patton and the rest of the Pikeville defense as they made the stop up the middle. Held him to no gain, so it's going to bring up uh, third and four. Belfry's first drive of the ball game. They're going to split a wide out wide to the right, double slot, and they're going to pitch it out wide to Willis. Andre Willis trying to take it down the sideline, and he's got one man to beat, and he can't get around E-Step. E-Step with a big tackle down on the sideline. Got a flag over here. That could be holding where that's at, though. Let's see what the uh, referee is going to tell us here. He's got a 20-yard gain if it's blocked oh, below, block below the waist. Yep. So that one will come back. That's going to be a 15-yarder against Belfry. So I bring up a third and about 13 now. So they've had two penalties uh, so far, and both of them is the 15-yard variety. Well, that's, that ain't going to be going over well at halftime with coaching staff. Nope. And here comes Keaton bringing the play in from the sideline. Double slot, one wide out wide to the left. Keaton back to throw, throws it out wide, incomplete, and I think he must, must have been looking out there for Caleb Edwards, number nine. Well, I, I think it was for number 40. 40 was coming across that little drag pattern across the middle and uh, fell down Austin Hall. And uh, that's the reason he threw it. So it was behind, yeah. you know. So uh, that's going to bring up fourth 14. It's going to force him to punt. Yep. So back deep is East step, I'm assuming. And I can't see who on this side is. They'll reset to punt it away. And it's a nice one. Fair catch called for by East Hip made at about the 19-yard line. So Pikeville, first and 10 with 22 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Larry, they have dominated the time of possession. They have. Uh, Belfry, uh, less than two minutes uh, on the clock as far as uh, the uh, time of possession. Of course, uh, it's all tied up 7-7 due to the fumble that uh, Derek Pugh fumbled the first time he touched the ball. And had a uh, return by Dotson for a 65-yard touchdown, but 
Offense shot yourself in the foot that time. They yep. got some big chunks on the ground on the rushing game, but the uh, penalty wasn't able to overcome it. Pistol for Charles. He got Quinn's to the right, back to throw. And now he's under some pressure. He's being forced out of the pocket, and he's going to try to throw it on the run. It's going to be caught by Eastep. Eastep makes a move, and he's going to get close. He's got a first down out. It's a 30. Yep, 11-yard gain. Tell you what, a good decision by Charles there to get rid of that one when he did. Well, he, he just kept stringing it out, stringing it out, helping his uh, receivers, and uh, finally East Elk broke loose, and uh, he was able to deliver it. So first and 10 now for the Pikeville Panthers, and that'll be the last play of this first quarter. We'll be ending it tied at seven apiece on the Intermountain Sports Network. Hill hired field ready for second quarter action. We're all tied up at seven. Pikeville with it first and ten on the 30 yard line. And uh, Charlie, they've uh, Pikeville's really uh, showed. Uh, of course, we we seen them do this. I think it was against Hazard come out and, and uh, run a spread offense, throw the ball around a lot. Right. And uh, uh, then of course the second half is when Derek Pugh had the uh, big uh, half, you know, running the ball. So. Uh, Right now, the leading rusher for uh, Pikeville Charles with 15 yards. Pews tipped six times. He's only got 11 yards, one fumble, and, but he also has the touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Charles, nine of 10 for 66 yards through the air. Only uh, had one uh, incompletion so far. That's pretty impressive start. Now they're going to go with split backs in the backfield. Twins right, one wide out left. Charles, and we're in motion. Yep. One of the backs move. Yep. That'll be a five-yard penalty. Be first and 15 now for the Panthers. That's the second penalty for Pikeville. Both of them has been fought starts. Five-yard variety. Belfry with two penalties. Both of them 15 yards. Yep. Had, a, had a block below the waist and roughing the passer. Now, two big penalties for Belfry. You're exactly right. Both of them meant a lot, too. One of them took away a first down. One of them gave Pikeville a first down. Well, the, the uh, rough and the passer gave him a first down, but the next play after that was when Pew fumbled, right. and they picked it up and run it in. So, First and 15, Charles in the shotgun, hands it off in the backfield to Maynard, and Maynard fights his head way ahead for a positive gain, but Belfry all over him again. Yeah, they're going to give him two, looks like. So second down, 13 coming up now for the Panthers. Pikeville making some substitutions on that offensive line. And those guys got to be getting tired, Larry. They put in a full half already. They have. I see a couple of them standing out there with the uh, hands on their hip. So, uh, of course, it's uh, the humidity and stuff. Right. Temperature's not like it was when we started this season. Wins each way back to throw again is Charles. Charles has time, steps up in the pocket, fires across the middle. Oh, Maynard had it, and he gets leveled out there by Noah Corbett. Number six. Tell you what, he just came across the middle, and Corbett just laid it on him, didn't he? He did. So third down and 13 coming up now. Big third down play again for Pike. Well, they've been able to convert every third down tonight, Larry. They have. That's only the second incompletion for Charles. And, they, and he delivered the ball. It was yeah, just, ball was it there. He just shook loose. Yeah, trips right, one wide out left. Charles rolling out, wanting to throw. Pumps trying to go deep, looking for he step in. Oh, just overthrows him. He step had a step on his defender. Boy, he did. Let's see, who was that? Uh, Keaton Taylor was defending, defending him. Number yeah. six. No, number four was Keaton Taylor. Six was playing safety coming over. Oh, okay. Okay, number four, Taylor, right. And Corbett was out there, but he he had a step on both of them. That's the, that's the quarterback. Yep. He broke the pass up earlier between... But he, he stepped, like you said, he, he broke loose right at the end. He had that little burst of speed. He was just overthrown about two yards, or that could have been a big score. Yep, Pike will set to punt it away. He stepped back to punt. That's dangerous, isn't it? Punts it. Nice punt. It's a good one away. And they fumble it. Who comes away with it? Pike well, says they have it. Let's see what the officials say. Yeah, there. Pike's got it. They, say. they do, yeah. Belfry had it, and then... Uh, the ball just squirted loose from him, and uh, Pikeville's man jumped in on it. Let's see who comes up with that fumble, Larry, on the bottom of the pile. 
I believe it's <laughs> number 11. Number two or number 11 won. Uh, well, they two was, was, ben Maynard was on the bottom of the pile. They, they was a, uh, patting uh, 11 on the head, so uh, we're going to give it to Sloan. Okay. Hey, what big play right there because, you know, Pike, well, again, Larry has control of the football. You're right. Twins left, one wide out, twins right, one left. They're going to try to hand it to, no, Charles is going to keep it himself, and he's going to hook slide down there at the 30-yard line. Pick up of about six yards. Pick up of six, exactly. I tell you what, Powell's done a great job calling the football game here, and they've got a couple of breaks, obviously. Just getting ready to say that myself. Uh, the offensive uh, coordinator or uh, Coach Chris McNamee here, whoever's calling, is calling a great game right they now. They have. But of course, you got to give the team credit because they're executing they're that exactly play. right. I mean, you know, this offensive line has done a great job giving him time. Trips right, one wide out left. Split. Charles, oh, hand, nope, fakes handoff, Pew throws it out wide, and it's going to be caught, and he's going to be short. They're going to blow the whistle. Who is that on the catch? That was number 15 on the catch of Vanderbeck. A.J. Vanderbeck. And let's see what they're going to give him. Going to give him a, a gain of, what, three? Yep. Going to have him be a third down and about one, looks like. Now third and maybe two, Larry. Now third and one, we're going to call it. Third and a long one. Pikeville lining up. Looks like it's going to be twins over to the right. One wide out. East step over here by himself on an island with Keaton. And they're going to hand it to Pew up middle. Pew breaks through for the first down down inside the 20. Beautiful blocking that time by the uh, offensive line. Big hole for Pew on the third and one. And picks up eight. He's going to get eight. When you can pick up eight straight up the middle on a third and one, that's excellent blocking yes, it is. the front line. Pikeville right, looks like they're going to go with that pistol look this time. They're going to go with one wide out, split wide right, one wide out left, and an eye formation in the pistol. And they're going to give it to Pew again. Pew got maybe two, and that's going to be it. The helmet comes off. Yep. That was number five, Hatfield, in on the tackle. Along with the other three or four players, as Pew will have to come off the field now. Set, off, set out of play. Yep. Picks up two. So second down and eight coming up now for Pike. And let's see, they're going to go. We got the backfield back there now. 34 is Blake Charles. Going to go out of the shotgun, twins right. One wide out left and the slot left. And he's going to fake it, throwing it. No, it's going to be batted down. Big number 44 for Belfry coming in there to bat it down. That is Cole Bentley. Bentley looked like he was swatting away a basketball shot there, didn't he? He did, and... and uh uh, he uh, had East Step breaking through as East Step was uh, lined up uh, wide to the left and was coming back to the middle, and he had him open. Yep. Third and eight coming up now. Four Pikeman. Trips left, one wide out right. And we've got Pew back in the backfield now. Charles fakes it, going to throw it across the middle. That's going to be caught. That's going to be first and goal, Pikeville. Who is that? Is that? Vanderbeck, Vanderbeck, AJ Vanderbeck with the kick. So Pike will knocking on the door again, Larry. First and goal now from the eight yard line. A great offensive game plan for Pike so far in this ball game. That's down. Uh, that's on the two yard line. The threes, three. they've got it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's up the middle, touchdown, Pikeville. Derek Pugh, it may be, I can't, I can't tell. There's a, we've got a flag on the play though. It's, I think it's after the play. Pugh. Derek Pugh gets the touchdown. Let's see what the flag's gonna be. Probably gonna be an excessive celebration or something maybe on Pikeville from where it came down at or something, but it may not be. Officials are discussing it right now. 13-7 if everything stands. I, I'm thinking the play was after the play. Flag was after the play, was dead. 
Dead ball. Dead ball. Dead ball. Pike on Pike. Balls. So that will be assessed on the, on kickoff. the kickoff. Yeah. So Pew did run it in. Pew did take it in. So that's 16 touchdowns on the year for him now, Larry. Uh, that's 17. 17. Actually, that's 16 on the ground. He had one in the air. Here comes the extra point by Larry. It is good. So it's 14-7. Pikeville now with 8.06 to play in the first half on the Intermountain Sports Network. And we're back here at Pikeville, 8.06 here in the first half as the Panthers 14-7 lead over Belfry and uh, Charlie Belfry, uh, seven points on the board. That came on a, a scoop and score fumble uh, on right. uh, Pew, so their offense only run four plays I'm, here in yeah. the first half. I'm going to say their offense had the ball less than two minutes. Oh, and definitely less little squib two kick. This one a little bit more mustard to it. Gets down into the back. Trying to come out to the outside. Pike Belfry will try to make a return, and they'll get it out. Well, he goes down at about the 43-yard line. That's number six, Noah Corbett. Nice return out to the 42-yard line, so Belfry will see if they can get their offense untracked. One first down is all they've had here in this first half, four plays. And that was their first offensive play. It was. Uh, had another 20-yard run negated by a block below the waist penalty and wasn't over to overcome that as the uh, pass was incomplete. So we'll see what they can do. Had uh, made some big gains when they had the ball, just didn't have it very long. Yep. Here's it. Ocean in the backfield, and they're going to run the option pitch, and Pike will all over it. Beautiful play that time by number 11 for Pikeville. Caleb Edwards, number nine on the carry. Number 11 is Clay Sloan making the tackle. I'm telling you, uh, Sloan, uh, he's come to play tonight. Uh, he recovered the fumble on the uh, putt. And uh, now he made a big tackle for a loss uh, as they're going to lose, uh, what is that, five? Five, second down and 15, you're right. And was that Willis on the carry? No, that was uh, Caleb Edwards, number nine. Number nine. And they're going to give it around to Ed Willis this time. Willis cuts back to the inside, breaks a tackle. He'll get back to the original line of scrimmage. He'll pick up five, but it'll be third down and 10. And guess who was there? Mr. Sloan. Mr. Sloan again. He's been all over the place, hasn't he? He has been. Well, Belfry will come back up the line of scrimmage, third and 10. Belfry in, in danger of going with another three and out here, Larry. Willis picked up six that time. They'll look back to the sidelines. Keaton Taylor getting his. Uh, Instructions. He'll bring his team back up the line of scrimmage again in that double slot. And they're going to run the option out of it again, pitching it out wide, trying to go to the outside. He breaks a tackle, cuts, goes down near midfield. They're going to mark it down at the 49, pick that, up of six. Was that nine again, Caleb Edwards? Or was that six? That was number six. Corbett. Corbett? Noah Corbett, yes. Fourth down and three, and I think Belfry may go for it here, Larry. And that was uh, number 13, East step on the tackle for Pikeville. See, Belfry may be trying to change a little momentum here, going to go for it on fourth and three. And they do. They come back up in that uh, double slot, one wide out, wide to the right. Taylor under center. They might just be trying to draw oh, They're going to run it. And they're not going to go. That was number five, Austin Hatfield on the carry. And he's going to get a gain of about two, but that's not going to be enough. And all the momentum right now is on the Pikeville Panthers side, yep. Charlie. That Pikeville defense getting fired up, and they should be right now, Larry. Yes, they should. That was number uh, 52, Isaac Lucas on the tackle for the Panthers. So first and ten now for the Belfry I mean for the Pikeville Panthers just shy of midfield. Twins each way. Charles in the shotgun. Charles back to throw. Under pressure. Now he's gonna have to roll out looking, still looking, throws it. It's gonna be caught. And it's going to be a gain of about nine yards on the play. That's the East step with the catch. That was Hatfield on the tackle. 
And I, uh, they're going to give him, I thought he was pacing on the scrimmage well. on forward and, uh, momentum, but uh, yep. they're going to mark him about a nine-yard gain on it. He was close. The second down and one. Five minutes to go now in this first half. And it's been all Pikeman. It has been. Twins right. Pistol formation in the backfield. Crawls back to throw. Going deep, trying to go downfield for Vanderbeck and overthrows him. Yep. Good coverage out there, though, by Belfry as well. Well, Belfry, uh, who was it on coverage? Is that trying, number? Trying to see. You won't turn 220-something. 21, maybe? If he'll turn, I can see his number. He's in. We've got his key. It's 20-something, Larry. 27. 27 is Austin Woolham. Yep. And uh, had nice coverage on him. So third and two now coming up for Pike. Twins right. Pistol formation with that eye in the backfield. And this is going to be all Pew, and Pew's got it. He's got it. He's rolling. Pew goes down to about the 38-yard line, first and 10, Pike. And again, number five, Hatfield on the tackle. He's already got five tackles so far, but Derek Pew uh, with a gain of three. Pew don't have the big numbers that he had in some of the other games we've seen him. Charlie's got 10 carries for 27 yards, but he's got two touchdowns. Also had a fumble that resulted in the only score for Belfry. So double slot this time, twins right this time, slot left in the shotgun. And he's gonna hand it off to Maynard out of that slot. Maynard trying to cut it upfield, gets a block, and he's got a first down. Maynard gets down to about the 26-yard line with 4.02 to play here in the first half. And I'm telling you, when you say dominating time of possession, I'm going to say it is 80%, 90 percent of the first half has been possessed by Pike. I'd, I'd say you're right. Big 12-yard pickup, 15 yards now for Maynard on three carries. Looking to the sideline now. Pew in the backfield. Twins each way now for Pike. They're going to go out of that pistol, looks like. Pew will be right behind Charles. We've got a official timeout. Timeout caught by Belfry. 3.37 to go here in the first half. It's 14-7 Pikeville on the Intermountain Sports Network. And we're back here at Hill and Hard Field, 337 here in the first half, 14-7. Pikeville over Belfry. A lot of people might not uh, uh, would have thought that, Charlie, but Pikeville's driving it first and 10 on Belfry's 26-yard yep, line. You're exactly right. It's been, it's been all Pikeville here in the first half. It has been. Trips left, one wide out right. In the shotgun is Charles. And he's going to fake it to Pew, throw it out wide to E-Step. And E-Step got a block. And he's going to get a first down. First and 10, Pikeville. For the 14-yard uh, pickup. Yep. Down about the 12-yard line. 325 to go here in this uh, first half of play. 97 yards on 13 of 16 through the air. Here comes Pew with it, and Pew's going to be stacked up at the line. He's going to get maybe a yard. So Pew, don't know who got the tackle there. He was holding him around in hard to tell. It looked like men, uh, number 40 getting up off the pile for uh, Belfry. That would be Austin Hall. It'll bring up a second down and nine now for Pike. 250 to play here in this first half. Twins right, one wide out left, split backs in the backfield this time for Pike. Charles takes the snap and he's gonna hand it to Maynard. No, Charles keeps it himself. He's gonna be in the end zone for the touchdown. 11 yard touchdown run for Austin Charles to make it 20 to seven Pike here in this first half. And I tell you what a first half it's been so far for the Pike fans. Yes, it has been. A lot of hands on the, on the hips and the heads are shaking over on the Belfry sideline. They, they didn't, sure didn't come in here expecting nope, this. You're right. Here comes the extra point attempt now by Alara. And we're going to get offsides on uh, 
Belfry on the extra point. So it looks like Pike will may line up and go for two here, Larry. Yeah, bring I, the offense back. Don't think. Uh, I think I'd just go ahead and kick it. You hope that one point don't hurt you at the end of the ball game, don't you? You're right. But then again, Pew's not hardly a yard and a half is not very much for him. No, well, the way that offensive line been blocking uh, tonight so far, he sure it. And Pike will going to line up in the pistol. High formation in the backfield. There it comes. Charles. No, Pew takes it in. Nice handoff by Charles because he sure looked like he had it, didn't he? Yes, it did. Pew dived in the end zone. So with 2.30 here in the first half, 22-7, Panthers over the Pirates. We'll be back for the kickoff. This is your Mountain Sports Network. Ten seconds. Right. Five. Go ahead, Charlie. Belfry kicking it away. It'll be picked up there by, I mean, by Pike. Well, Belfry picks it up. That's number six, Noah Corbett with Corbett. the pickup. And up about the 30-yard line, first and 10 now for Belfry. Kyle doing a good job limiting that Pike Belfry speed from getting on the corners. Blake Charles, number 34, with the big hit. 22-7, Pikeville with the lead, 2.24 to go here in the first half. Belfry has yet, the, the offense has yet to show anything, Larry. They have. Not done much at all. Got a lot of uh, some good runs, but uh, just not being consistent with it. Right. There's that inverted wishbone look, and they're going to hand it off on the outside. And as we say, he breaks free on the outside, and he's going to be, that's going to be a horse collar. Yeah, horse collar that's tackle. 42-yard line. That was Austin Hatfield on the carry. And Pike will get their first big penalty. 26 yards for Hatfield. And it'll be... Horse collar, 50, that'll be, is that another 15 yard? 15 yard, a personal foul. So that'll move them down to what, the 16 yard line? 16 yard line. Just nope, nope, 27 yard 27 line. yard line, right. and just like that, Charlie, they had the ball first and 10, they're on 31, and in one play, they're on Pipe Wheels uh, 27. And they're gonna try to run it up the middle again. And let's see, you're gonna get, about five yards on it and see who the carry is. I think that might be Hatfield again. Let's see if he comes up out of there. They'll try to run it quickly, too. Number five, Hatfield. And he's going to get, uh, what are they giving him, four? Yep. Second down and six. Minute 42 to play here in the half. Belfry running that inverted wishbone look again. Willis in motion, and they're going to give it to Willis. Willis trying to cut up inside. He'll get down to about the 21-yard line, a gain of two. It'll be third down and four. Blake Charles with the tackle for Pikeville. So down to a minute 15 now to play here in the first half. Belfry threatening a little bit here. Got it first or third and four at the 21. Again, that double slot and this time it's going to be the quarterback Keaton Taylor and Taylor will have the first down I believe that's now they're going, to, they're going to mark him about a yard short I think uh, they blow him they blow his forward momentum stopped I, I, I think okay. let's see well let's see where they got well yeah they got him marked about a yard short wow that was Taylor on the carry yep, right yeah Keaton Taylor so fourth and one coming up now for Belfry Big play right here yes. for the Pikeville defense. Yeah, it is. One less than a minute to play here in the first half. And they're going to give it to Hatfield. And Hatfield breaks loose at the last minute. Has the first down at about the 16-yard line. Big number 71, Bryson uh, Patton with the big stick, but uh, wasn't able to uh, hold on, take him down. So we'll give him the tackle, but uh, he moves his change forward as a two-yard gain that time by 
Hatfield. Hatfield, and tough runner, Charlie. Taylor back, hands it off on the outside, and that's going to be a touchdown for Zondre Willis. So Zondre Willis takes it in from 16 yards out to make it 22 to 13. And like we've talked about before, Belfry will have the ball to start the second half, Larry, and uh, that could be trouble. Well, that's just, we was talking uh, what time we was uh, taking a break. You know, uh, we, we see this a lot in high school football. You get the uh, last possession of the half and score. You get to kick off on the second half and, and score, and, and the game could be right back tied as the extra point's good. We'll so, just keep it right here with 22 seconds or 37 seconds left here in the first half, 22-14. So a touchdown and a two-point conversion apart. Well, I tell you, that was, uh, just like we said, we've seen that out of Belfry's offense what time they've been on the field, you know, making some big gains on some big plays, but they've just not been out there very right. much. Right now, Charlie, they've run, let's see, our four and 10, 11, 12, 13. They've only had it 14 plays here in the first half, but they have 14 points on the board. Of course, seven of that was a defensive score. Yeah. But, uh, you know, just like I said, we're right back in it. Pipe was dominated the whole first half, and they look up, and you're only up by eight. Yeah, I mean, that, that's true. And, you know, that Belfry will kick it away. I don't think they'll kick it toward uh, Mr. Estep, though. Dropping back is... Evan Rhodes, number five, I think, or is that 15 Vanderbeck? Uh, I just see the five. See. I can't see if there's a one in front. I think it's just a five, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is just a five. That's Evan Rhodes back deep. Pikeville with 39 plays here in the first half. Be uh, Belfry with 16. Wow. But just like you say, you look up and you're only up by eight. That's true. And your offense has only put two up on the board. Two, uh, or uh, I mean, uh, one up on the board for uh, Belfry. Belfry ready to kick it away. And they're going to kick it deep back to the five yard line. That's East Step trying to take it outside. That's Maynard. Maynard, oh, sorry. sorry. Maynard will get it up near the 30 yard line. They, uh, they're, they're playing a little games there with... Moving uh, East Step Maynard around. Yeah, they moved East Step up short where they've been kicking it short, and that time they kicked it long back to Maynard, uh, had Maynard and uh, Vander uh, back, back there, so uh, playing a little game with it. So first and 10 now at the 30 for Pike, but with 29 seconds left here in the first half. Well, Charles is 13 of 16 for 97 yards through the air, and, uh, you know, you've got the flyer uh, East Step, so uh, they, 29 seconds could be plenty enough time oh, for them to score. No doubt. And they're going to run a reverse. And Estep breaks one tackle, but he can't get by the others. He'll get out to a gain of about six. Second down and four. And that tackle was by uh, number 10. That's uh, Cameron uh, Cantron. Let's see, well, Pike will try to make, maybe throw a Hail Mary here at the end or not call the timeout. So, yeah, they did. Nope, they're going to take it. They're going to go into the locker room with the lead. 22-14, Pikeville on top of Belfry. This is the Intermountain Sports Network. Athletic Complex 22-14, your score here at the half as the Pikeville Panthers lead the Belfry Pirates. Belfry will have the ball to start the second half, but first, Larry Cecil is going to give us a few stats from that first half. All right, first for uh, Belfry, Charlie, uh, Taylor was 0-1 in the passing game uh, on the ground. Uh, Belfry didn't have very many plays, I think 16 plays the first half. They had 95 yards total on the ground. They had Will, uh, Willis, uh, four carries, 53 yards and a touchdown. Hatfield had six carries for 39 yards. Edwards carried one time for a five-yard loss. Uh, Corbett, uh, one carry for six yards. And Taylor, one carry for two yards. Um, Belfry had two penalties in the first half, both of those 15-yarders. And for uh, Pikeville, Pikeville with 86 yards on the ground and 97 yards through the air for a total of uh, 183 yards. Maynard had three carries for 15 yards. Uh, Pew uh, with 11 carries, 28 yards, two touchdowns. He also had a fumble that was picked up by Dotson and run back in for one of Belfry's scores. Charles with uh, six carries for 32 yards and a touchdown. Estep one carry for 11 yards. Charles uh, 
high percentage passing in the first game. A lot of the short passes, 13 of 16 for 97 yards. And his favorite target uh, in the first half was Estep and Vanderbeck uh, as Estep had four catches for 44 yards and Vanderbeck three catches for uh, 16 yards. Pikeville with three penalties and uh, both teams with uh, one turnover each. Uh, Charlie has uh, Pugh had the turnover for Pikeville and then uh, Belfry fumbled the punt and uh, Pikeville recovered it. Uh, on the defensive side, Sloan, uh, very active for Pikeville. He had a fumble recovery and then had a tackle for loss, uh, had two tackles, and Hatfield was the leading uh, tackler for uh, Belfry as he had uh, five tackles. Uh, of course, Dotson had the uh, fumble return for a touchdown, so very exciting first half. The fans uh, really getting their money's worth here, but a uh, long way from being over, 22-14. Belfry will have it to start this second half, Charlie. Yeah, we got a couple people vying for that uh, defensive player of the game, the John Earl, Hunt, John Earl Hunt Law Office uh, defensive player of the game, and also the IMSN Deskins Motors player of the game. So those two awards will be given at the end of the ball game, And got a couple people uh, pushing for those right now. Yes, we have. And we're just about ready for the second half kickoff. Belfry uh, will have the ball to start the second half. Pike will dominated the first half in time of possession. Larry, uh, I'm going to say 80-20 as far as the percentage wise. Well, as far as, as, far as plays, uh, according to, to my account, uh, Pikeville run 40 plays the first half and Belfry only had 16. Well, that tells you right there how what what was going on, and you know, a couple big penalties for Belfry giving Pikeville uh, first down here and a first down there. Pikeville um, able to take advantage of that. You know, their off their offensive uh, coordinator called a heck of a game there in the first half. He did, and and just like we made the comment in the first half, you know, it doesn't make any difference how good a game you call if your team doesn't execute it. Right. Pikeville executed good, just like I said, 13 of 16 passing, you know, uh, gets one of the, you know, and, and uh, heard people talk that this could be one of Belfry's best defenses in the last several years, you know, and they and they won a 3 nothing championship game last year in the 3A uh, state championship. Right. And being able to complete that high percentage and move the ball like Pipewell did, you know, that says something about their right. offense. And Pipewell will kick this one deep and this one will go into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20 as uh, Alara puts a boot to it. Yes, he does. 22-14, your score. Belfry will start first and 10 from the 20. Still in high school, isn't it? Yes. Okay. College has moved it up to the 25, I think, if you kick it in the end zone now. A lot of them trying to do away with the kickoff there. That's, that's, like. that's the reason they're doing that. But Belfry will have the ball to start the second half. They were able to take that final uh, drive into the end zone to score with only uh, about, what, 40 seconds left for Pikeville. And they'll come in trying to get momentum back on there. Let's keep that momentum going. Double slot, double tight. And it's Hatfield. Hatfield is running power right up the middle. Hatfield is gone across midfield. He's down to the 40, 35. And let's see where they're going to mark him down at. We're going to mark him down at the 30-yard line. Yard, 31-yard line. 31-yard line. First and 10. So a big run by Hatfield to start this second half. 49 yards. And if it wasn't for the speed of Cody Eastip, that would have been a touchdown. Yep, Cody Eastip can run a lot of people down from behind. Yes, he did, and it was all he could do to catch Hatfield. So first and 10 now for Belfry. As Belfry trying to start the momentum going here in the second half. Double slot, double tied again. Just power football right now by the Pirates. Taylor takes a snap, hands it off on the end around that time. That was number nine on the carry, uh, Caleb Edwards. And, and number four, that's uh, Carter Tackett on the tackle for Pikeville. Loss of one, second down and 11. Move the ball back to the 32-yard line. What will be second down and 11 coming up now for the Pirates? Was that, uh, who was that on the carry? Corbett? It was number nine. Number uh, nine, Edwards. Edwards. He's carried two times tonight for a total of a minus six. There's the motion again. This time they're going to hand it up. Oh, going to keep it. Taylor going to keep it himself. He's going to get across the 30 or 25, looks like. Or right down, call it the, well, they're going to mark him at the 26. Gain Pick of up six. six. 
So second down or third down and four coming up now for Belfry. Obviously four down territory here for the Pirates. Yes, it is. Belfry again in that double slot, double tight, just like I said, just lining up. And you know what's coming at you. Can you stop it? And there's Taylor on the keep, on the option. He's got the first down inside the 20. Maybe the 19, maybe the 18-yard line. Number two, Ben Maynard on the tackle, and Taylor a carry and Maynard for the last four or five yards. Let's see what we're marking the 18, at. So eight. gain of eight. Pick up of eight. First and 10 now, Pirates. 22-14, Belfry inside the red zone now. Double slot, double tied again. Taylor under center, and he's going to hand it off in the backfield. New ball carrier, Andrew Fletcher, number one. And Fletcher is going to get maybe two, Larry. Maybe one. They're going to mark, give him, well, actually giving him no game the way the, no uh, the, okay. the uh, down marker set him. Maybe a half a yard. Yeah. We'll give him one, but yeah. it's a short one. So second down and nine coming up. We'll call it the long nine. Double slot again. Here comes the sweep, and they're trying to get it to Zandre Willis, and Willis gets a couple, and that's going to be it. Another big third down coming up for Belford. He stepped with the tackle on that uh, carry. So trying to get Willis on that corner and use that speed. Pite will do a good job turning him back inside. Willis now five carries, 55 yards, and a touchdown. Third and eight from the yeah. 16. Taylor bringing the play in from the sideline now. And he'll come back up the line of scrimmage. Double slot, double tight. There's motion. And they're going to run it backwards. And nowhere to go. Big play. Caleb Edwards trying to cut it upside it. And is that 11? Number 11, Sloan. Sloan. That's, he's made three tackles tonight, Charlie, and two of them's been for uh, tackles for loss, and then he had the fumble recovery. So um, he's having a heck of a game out there what, on the defensive side. Is Belfry going to try a field goal here? I think that's what they're going to do. Yep. Who, who, was, who was that? That was uh, number nine. That Edwards. Was Edwards on the carry. This will be a 20, 36, 36 or 37 yard attempt, Larry. What is that? About 37, 37 yards. Yep. And the kick has got to got the length, and it is wide right. Yep. Wide right. So 22, 14. Heigl will take over at the line. Well, let's say take over at the 20 yard line in high school, don't you? Exactly. So big stand by the defense that time. Uh, Edwards, uh, they've got his number tonight, uh, Charlie. He's touched the ball three times and uh, for a minus 10 yards, and every carry that he has tried tonight has been for negative yards. He don't have a positive yard yet. Tell you what, impressive start for the Pineville defense there. Charles in the shotgun. He's going to try to hand it off in the backfield to Pew. Pew coming around the outside. And Pew down across the 30. He's got a first down. Call it the 34-yard line. Pick up 14. Pew running downhill. And we know that he can do that good. Corbett, number six, with the stop. Split backs, twins right, one wide out left. Charles in the shotgun. And he's going to hand it to Maynard. Maynard trying to go to the outside, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. Yes, he is. That was number 33 for Belfry with the tackle, and that would be number, uh, Dakota Stanley. His first tackle tonight, and was, uh, had a yard loss. Yep. yep. Second down and 11, or second down and 12, according to the scoreboard. Now they changed second 11 now. So yard loss on the play, second down and 11. Twins right, split backs in the backfield, one wide out, twins left, one wide out right. Charles back to throw. Charles looking, now he's under some pressure, throws it across the middle, incomplete. Intended for East step out there. 
That was no, for Vanderbeck. 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 And Vanderbeck took a shot that time, but uh, no flags thrown, so it was an incomplete pass. So third down and 11 now coming up for Pike. Let's see what the Panthers can do with it here. That could be the first third and long we've seen Pike win tonight. You may be right. Twins right, or twins left, one wide out right. Split backs in the backfield again. Charles had to get a lot of uh, time to throw it again that time, Charles. Yep. In the shotgun, Charles back to throw again. And we've got whistles everywhere. And we've got a flag right over here on yep. this side. Must be a false start to see if that's going to back them up five more. Let's see what the white hat. Well, he's. Yep. Yep. False start. False start on Pikeman. That's their fourth penalty of the night. Three of them has been false starts. So it makes it third and 16 now. Ball back at the 28-yard line. Trips left, one wide out right now. Charles in the shotgun. Pew back there with him. Charles gets everybody set, takes the snap, and looking to throw. Now he's under pressure, and he's going to have to. He's going to go down. And what was that number 11 for uh, Belfry with the uh, sack? Yep. And Indeed. that's going to be uh, Nate Sanger. So first punt of the night now for Pike. Zandre Willis and Keaton Taylor back for Belfry. Cody Eastip, the very dangerous punter back there. Yes, he is. And he gets this one away and he'll go toward... Or Taylor, he takes a fair catch at the 44-yard line to be first and 10 for the Pirates. So both teams come out in the first uh, or the uh, first possession here in the second half and was able to stop each other's offense. That's the first time we've seen that tonight. Yeah. It didn't happen in the first half. No, sir, you're right. Pike will did punt it once in the first half, but Belfry fumbled it. Exactly. I'm, I am mistaken. You're right. You're right. So... First and 10 at 44 now for Pike or for Belfry. 6-14 to play here in the third quarter. 22-14 Pike. Ball. Taylor under center. There's motion in the backfield. He's going to hand it off to the second man through. And he breaks outside. Willis picks up about eight yards on the play. Boy, I tell you, he's shifty and quick, isn't he? Yes, he is. And he gets up gingerly too, Larry. That's something Belfry doesn't want to see. Right. Could be a cramp. Yeah, that's what it kind of, he, yeah, he's yeah. a cramp. He's pulling, he's pulling that toe back. That's a good sign. I mean, I know the young man's hurting, but that's a good sign that that's all it is. Right. Yeah, we don't see none of these uh, young men out here as hard as they're playing and uh, to uh, come up with an injury and uh, maybe end of season or have to set out a, a two or three games. And they're going to give us a water break here to, Let's go ahead and take a break, and we'll be right back. 22-14, Pikeville on the Intermountain Sports Network. Welcome back to Pikeville High School. 22-14, Pikeville with the lead, Belfry with the football. And they're going to hand it up the middle, and, man, he just ran over. Austin Hatfield just ran over somebody. He just stepped over him, actually. Well, he, he ran right up somebody's back and just run over him and uh, end up picking up the first down, pick up a three. That's 91 yards now for Hatfield on eight carries, averaging a little over 10 uh, yards a carry. First and 10 now for Belfry at the 45. Double slot. And here we're going to a little cross buck out of that. And that may be six. No, nope, we got Held a flag it. on the play. But he, nice cutback, and it will be six if it counts for Caleb Edwards. And let's see what the flag. The flag was thrown right in the middle of the pile. Yep. And we got a couple of Belfry uh, players uh, walking back to the back. Hatfield, he thinks it's against them. Yep. Personal foul, uh, Belfry, yes. Personal foul. Personal foul. Wow. Must have uh, been a uh, illegal hit or took a shot at him or something in the middle, you know, uh, hitting a man while he's down or, or, or something because it was thrown right in the middle of the line. Let's see. 
Yep. So let's see if they'll move it to be a 15 yarder yard from yet. the spot of the foul. It's going to start marching it off on the 42, looks like. So that's going to put it back to, to uh, Belfry's about 43. Yep. That's a 15 yard penalty. That's, they've had three penalties tonight. All three of them have been the 15 yard variety. First and 22 now for Belfry. And. Don't want to call out no names or numbers or anything like that, but the one to come up off the pile for Belfry and was uh, kind of looking in disgust a little bit was number 44, Cole Bentley. So it's possible that could have been called on him. We're not for sure, but I know uh, Hatfield, Quiggs, the flag went down and the referee said whatever he said. Hatfield just started, hung his head, started walking uh, back toward his own goal line. So we've got another Belfry player down in the end zone with cramps, looks like, Larry. And I think that was number nine, the uh, ball carrier, wasn't it? That was yep. Caleb Edwards. Caleb Edwards. That was Edwards' uh, first positive run of the night, wasn't it? Yes, it was. He, he, he was going to take it in for a 40-some yard touchdown and uh, ended up, uh, thanks to his uh, teammate, uh, was, it, uh, was nullified by the penalty. And they're getting him off the field now, so we're... And Belfry has stopped herself as much as Pipe will stop them. You're tonight. right. You're right. The penalties, just like I said, they only had three, but it's the time that they've came. Right. And all three of them big penalties. Well, they had a they had earlier. Uh, there's the personal foul takes uh, six points off the board, possibly seven. And uh, then uh, earlier they had the block below the waist, and uh, that was on a third and four, and that was a 29-yard gain, and that block, uh, backed them up, and they was forced to punt. So. Uh, if they can't overcome this one here, of course, this one was on first down, but it'll be first and 25. But uh, they, the penalties has really hurt them at the time that they've got them. Yeah, I think it's first and 23, according to what my, my math. Ball's at the 43-yard line. they got to get to the 45. That's 10, yeah, right. 23. Actually, uh, 22. 22, okay. Yeah. So first and 22 now for Belfry. And Belfry going to go with the double slot, one wide out wide to the right. Taylor takes the snap, and Taylor keeps it himself, trying to get to the outside. Nice Breaks stutter the tackle, move. And he's going to pick up a bunch of that back, Larry. Cody Eastep with the tackle, but beautiful move that time by uh, Taylor on Ben Maynard. Maynard had him sided in and was about ready to tackle him, and uh, Taylor done a little stutter step, and here we've got a flag on the side now, so uh, that could be on the sideline. Yeah. Probably a, maybe a sideline warning. That's what it's going to be. Yeah. Okay, second down and one coming up now for Belfry. And that was a 21-yard uh, run by Taylor. So Belfry comes back up now again with that double slot, one wide out wide to the right. Taylor under center. And a little cross buck again, and looks like he may have the first, and it's going to be close. It was 15, Devin Varney on the carry. That's Varney's first carry of the night. And he is going to be right at the 35-yard line. Let's see, will they bring the sticks out, or no, we'll is he going, to be, he going to call it short? Nope, we're going to no, call first it first down. down. Said he touched the line. That's where the marker was at. Yep. Varney uh, seen an opening and uh, set his foot, tried to cut up into the hole and lost his foot. He just dived forward, was able to pick up the first down. That's his first carry. That's uh, seven different men's carried the ball for Belfry tonight. There's motion this time. We're going to give it up middle of the Hatfield, and he's only going to get a couple. Number 34, Charles, coming up off the ball in the pile for Pikeville with a tackle. Yep. That's Blake Charles. So four minutes now to go here in the third quarter, 22-14. Pikeville with the lead. Hatfield approaching 100 yards on the ground tonight, 92 on nine carries. Double slot, in one wide out wide to the right. There's motion by Belfry. They're going to pitch it to the motion. Trying to come outside of it. And he is going to get the first down. That's number 13. Still going. Justin Atkins. And that's, uh, an, I think that's his first carry. Larry. It is his first carry. So 
so. Adkins? Adkins, yep. Justin Adkins, number 13. And the pickup of, let's see, that was on the, well, they say pickup of nine, but they're making a market for the first down. Well, that's, uh, yeah, cause that's he, right because yeah. uh, Hatfield had a gain of one earlier. There we go again. This time we're going to hand it off over on the left side. Is that Hatfield again? Hatfield yep. straight up the middle. He's going to get a couple more. Second down and eight now coming up for Belfry. That was 21 for Pikeville getting up off the bottom of the pile on the tackle that time. That would be number, uh, see, that would be Caleb Skeens. 2.40 to play now in this first or third quarter of play. Belfry again in that double slot. And we're going to go, we're going to run the option, and Taylor going to be drilled at the 21-yard line. He's going to lose two. And big number 71 coming in, cleaning it up. Number 15 was the initial hit on it, and then Patton come in and uh, laid the wood to uh, Taylor. Vanderbeck was his number 15, got, got the initial hit. Right. So it'll be third down and call it 10. They're going to mark him right at the line of scrimmage. For the original line of scrimmage. Taylor back to throw. And Taylor rolling out, looking to throw, throws it on the run. It's going to be incomplete. Is that 27 up there, Austin Woolham? He was intended. And that was number <clears throat> 11 um, for Pikeville Sloan on the uh, pass defense. So fourth and 10 now for Belfry. So Belfry will go for it here on fourth down, I would imagine. And we're going to have a timeout. Called by Belfry, minute 48 to play in the third, 22-14. Pikeville on the Intermountain Sports Network. Pikeville 148 to go here in the third quarter, 22-14. Pikeville with the lead. Belfry fourth and 10 from Pikeville's 21-yard line, Charlie. Yep, Belfry in that double slot. They're going to bring motion out of it. They're going to look to throw. And he's got a man wide open, and it's going to be, did he hold on to it? No, oh. incomplete. So Belfry will turn it over on down. Boy, he was wide open. He was wide open. And the pass was there, Charlie. I mean, he he looked like he was diving for it. Didn't look to me like he even needed to dive for it. The pass was right there. Yep. Just catch it. So it'll be Pikeville taking over, and I'll tell you what, the Panthers looking in pretty good shape here, Larry. Yeah, they're hanging tough. No score here in the third quarter so far. Pikeville takes over with 140 to go. And Pikeville will spread it out. Twins right, one wide out left. Charles tries to hand it off up the middle, and there's Pew with a nice run out across the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Pick up a five. And number two, Dotson with the tackle for uh, Belfry. Michael again runs up, twins right, one wide out left. There's the pistol. And again, they're going to hand it off to Pew. And Pew has a first down out across the 30. Out to the 33, a pick up at seven. It could be ground and pound here now for Pikeville with Pew if, until Belfry can stop him, Charlie. Yep. That's what they're going to do, I would imagine. Twins right, one wide out left. Charles takes it, and here they rolling out wanting to throw. He's throwing it under some pressure, throws it downfield. It is incomplete. And Taylor, Keaton Taylor, Got the ball thrown a little bit un underthrown going for Cody Eastep, and he almost had the interception. He did. If he had took maybe one more step back and jumped a little later, he might have had that one picked off, Charlie. And Eastep was behind him that time. His ball was just underthrown. And Pikeville has it second down and 10. Trips right, one wide out left. 
for Cripps left, one wide out right. Well, it's flanker screen. Yep. yep, and he's going to get up close to the 40-yard line. Look, I'm marking right on the 40. Who was that? Is that? Uh, that was East, East Step. Step trying to get him out in space there. And that was number nine, Edwards, with the tackle. Pick up of one. And they're going to come out now with waiting on fourth quarter. That is the last six seconds of this first third quarter of play. And it'll be 22-14. At the end of three, Pike will hold on the lead on the Intermountain Sports Network. Pikeville with the lead over the Belfry Pirates. Pikeville has it third and three from their own 40-yard line as we're getting ready for fourth quarter action, Charlie. And this is everything that uh, the fans came out here to see. Uh, maybe a little surprising to some, but uh, Pikeville has uh, had a nice game plan. Belfry shot herself in the foot with a fumble and some uh, costly penalties. And uh, Pikeville with a chance to go up two scores here on yep, this drive. You're right. Trips left, one wide out right. Charles hands it, hands it off to Pew. Yep, Pew. He's got the first down. He has. Pick up a four. And it'll be first and ten, Pikeville. 11.53 to play here in the ball game, and it's been uh, Pikeville holding on. They, they played really well in the first half, and they've killed Pike Belfort to a stalemate here in the second. Both teams has held uh, both teams' defenses has held each offense out of the end zone here in the third uh, or in the third quarter as we're now into the fourth quarter. And they're going to hand it off to Pew again, trying to get to the outside, and Pew's going to get maybe three yards on the play. He's run down from behind by number two. That's Dotson. And they're going to give him, we'll give him three. I'm looking over to the sideline, trying to get their uh, play together here. And they're going to go out of the pistol. Cripps right, one wide out left. Now they're going to switch to the shotgun. There's Pew again. And Pew fighting, trying to get to midfield, and he's going to make it. No, they're going to see us. Let's see where they're going to mark him at. They're going to mark him right on midfield, okay. but he's going to come up short. He's still going to be about four yards short of the first down. He's hurt. And I, I believe he's hurt a little bit, Charlie. Well, Pipe, we can't afford that. Yeah, he's up. Limping just a little bit. Game tackled that time. He's going to pick up uh, two. So third and call it four coming up now. Big third down now for Pikeville and for the Belfry defense. It is. I will come out now. Looks like twins each way. He will be in the backfield. No, they've got uh, Charles in. Blake Charles. Oh, okay. Pugh had to come out where they okay, had to stop right. the clock for him. Yeah, you're right. Blake Charles in. Austin Charles setting the throw. Now he's going to run it, and he is going to be just short. Two yards, yard and a half, two yards away from the first down. It'll be a big fourth down. Yeah, Dotson with the tackle and saved the first down that time as Charles is going to pick up uh, three, but that's going to bring fourth and two from the 47, and I think Pipe might have to punt it on that. What do you that's think? fourth and one, Larry. They actually spot him at the oh, okay. 47-yard line. Well, they, uh, they're they leaving the offense on the field. That'd be a good uh, time. Now they're going to call timeout and talk about it. Yep. So 9.46 to play, 28-14, or 22-14 at clock trucks on with Pike will win the lead on the Intermountain Sports Network. Welcome back to the... Hamley Athletic Complex, 22-14. We have an official timeout coming right out of that timeout for something. And it'll be fourth and one coming up for Pikeville. 
9.46 to play, 22-14. High formation, out of the pistol. They'll look back to the sideline now. Gets her call together again. Back to that I formation. And they're going to hand it to Pugh, and he's got it. First down and more for Derek Pugh and Pike. Maybe taking control here, Larry. They might do. Edwards with the tackle as Pugh is going to pick up three yards. Not been a lot of flashy yards for uh, Pugh tonight. That's 18 carries for 67 yards, but he's picked up the tough yards. He's got two touchdowns. Trips right, trips left, one wide out right for Pike. Charles in the backfield, Pugh. Here comes Pugh again. This time Pugh will gain a, about a yard, looks like. Big number 23 slashing in that time for the tackle on uh, for uh, Belfry. That would be uh, Horton. So second down and nine coming up here for the Panthers. Twins over there to the left again, one wide out right. Lawan Horton. Trips left. So trips left, one wide out right. You the single setback. Charles in the shotgun. And Charles fakes it, throws it out wide to Maynard. And Maynard, we've got a flag down at the 40-yard line, and it may be a hold on Pikeville. And number four for Belfry made the tackle. That's Taylor, and uh, he goes out of the game limping. That, that's their quarterback, yep, isn't it? That's a big, yep, big loss for him if, that's, if, if he's hurt. Let us see what the flag is holding. holding. So yep. you can negate the uh, play. That's going to mark it back 10 yards. So second down and what, uh, 17. All the way back to the 49-yard line. Well, second down and what, about four, uh, about, about 16 or 17, Larry, I'm not sure. Got one, two, three, four, 17. Wins each way now for the Panthers. Charles in the shotgun, and Charles rolling out wanting to throw. Charles trying to go deep, looking for, oh, oh, man. Great, deep, great defense out there. Cody Charles or Cody Eastep wanting the flag, but the defender tapped the ball before he got to it. He did. I mean, you know, defenders got the right for the ball. Who was that? Was that number three, number Andre? Three. Was Andre Willis. That was speed on speed right yes, there. Yes, it was. That big defensive play there. Pipeball wanting to pass interference. I, I, I think it's a good call. Well, uh, what they're wanting, uh, he, he did put his hand on Eastep, but he didn't guide him or push him or anything, and he just stepped in front of him and uh, knocked the pass down. I thought it was a good defensive play. I thought he, actually, I mean, he was actually going for the ball, so trips left, one wide out right. Charles in the shotgun, and he's going to look to throw again, looking downfield, and that one hey. is picked off. Number 27. Yep. And he's got the and got a ball. flag. Yep. Got a flag. I, I, he may have been tackled by the head, Larry. Well, the flag's back here away from well, the play. That's true, yeah. He step. There's flag on the play, too. So. Right, that's what I say. Austin Woolham with the pick. And then a flag come in later. You got a flag right at the tackle, and you got a flag back here. So get this sorted out. I think uh, the, the uh, personal foul on the tackle by E step is the flag over on that yeah. side. I didn't know what it was here in the middle. Could be a hold. Let's see what we got. Ineligible downfield, down downfield, downfield, Pikeville. Face, face mask, mask uh, so on Pikeville. Pikeville. So Belfry will decline the so ineligible the, downfield. Right? The ineligible downfield will be declined, and then the pick will count, and they'll add 15, 15 on yep. to the uh, spot of the foul uh, on the return. It's not having a retired official helps me out a little bit. A little bit. Yep. So they'll mark off 15 on the end of the run here. Well, that's five, I guess. They only called it a well, five. They yard. called it the inverted. And let's see. Let's see. Is Taylor still in at quarterback? No. We've got. Uh, Austin Hatfield at quarterback, I think. How's happy with the carry? That is uh, Noah Corbett in at quarterback. Okay, Hatfield with the carry. We're going to pick up four. Yeah, so Corbett is your new quarterback. 
And that's going to be about a four-yard pickup for Belfry. Could be the big play of the game right there, Charlie. Yep. That interception is huge. You're right. Double slot. Corbett takes the snap, and he hands it back to Zandre Willis. Willis is going to get up near midfield. And they're going to mark him right at midfield. So that'll be a gain of three. Third and three now coming up for Belfry. Patton on the tackle for Pikeville. So 7-16 now to play here in the ball game. And time's starting to become a factor. Yes, it is. And you've got to remember, it's an eight-point lead, so yep. if Belfry does punch it in, they're going to have to go for go two. For two right. Tight. Double slot, and Corbett going to keep it himself. And Corbett's in trouble. Now he breaks a couple of tackles. Now he's got some rope, cuts back inside again, and that's a long way for a one-yard game. It is. <laughs> Corbett... Uh, Ran at least 35, 40 yards for that one yard. He did. Number 21, Skeens, end up with the tackle. But I tell you, the man that saved that one for Pikeville was Cody Eastep. Comes sh just shot across the middle as Corbett was turning it up field and uh, uh, caused him to turn it back into the middle of the field into his defense. If Eastep hadn't turned it back in, Corbett might have went with that one. Fourth and two, and Taylor back in at quarterback. And they're going to run the option with Taylor. Taylor cuts it up. He got the cut. First down. Cuts back inside. He's inside the 20. 10. 5. Touchdown, Belfry. And we've got a ball game, folks. 22-20 with 5.59 to play in the contest. 49-yard run by Taylor. So Taylor comes back in one play, and he makes it a ball game. Well, he, was, he was out injured, and you're right, Astro Corbin. Made that run from one end of the field to the other, uh, all from one side to the other for the one yard gain. Taylor comes back in, fakes the pitch, and East Step made a nice move on East Step as East Step slid to the ground, and then that opened it wide open. It'll be, Belfry will have to go for two here to try to tie this up. As the Pirates line up in that double slot. Taylor under center, takes it, and Taylor rolling out like he's going to throw it. He's got a man open, and it is incomplete. So Pike will dodge his bullet. 22 to 20 now with 5.59 to play on the Intermountain Sports Network. And welcome back to Pikeville. 5.59 to go in the ball game. Belfry scores on a 49-yard run by Taylor, but they cannot convert to two-point conversion. Pikeville holds on to the lead, 22-20. Belfry be kicking off to them, and Charlie, this is the defensive stand of the game for Belfry it once is. Uh, Pikeville gets the ball, if they can keep them from running it back. Yeah, it's, this is a big, big series right here. Belfry set to kick it away. And Belfry's going to kick it, and they're going to kick it deep. And it'll be taken at the five-yard line. They'll pitch it back now to East Step. East Step trying to cut back inside, and he's going to go down at about the 22-yard line. Let's see, that was number five, Evan Rhodes, taking the kick and then pitching it back. So it'll be first and 10. Pike going out to 22. So Pikeville needs to take five minutes, 51 seconds off the clock or score. Yes, they do. Might see a steady die to Mr. Derek Pugh. You would think they would. I'm sure they'll start off that way. He's got 19 carries tonight. 68 yards, two touchdowns. And let's see. And Charles is going to keep it this time. He's going to get about a yard. Number 11 coming in for the tackle. That is uh, Sanger for Belfry. We want to start looking at uh, players of the game here in a few minutes, Larry. We are. We've got the John Earl Hunt defensive player, John Earl Hunt Law Office defensive player of the game, and the Intermountain Sports Network uh, Deskins Motors player of the game. Trips right, one wide out left. Four pike. Charles in the shotgun, and he is going to hand it this time Pugh. to Pew, and Pew's going to get up. Over the 30-yard line. First down. Got it the 33, looks like. And that's Edmund or Edwards on the uh, tackle for Belfry. 
And Pew, as you said, is going to get up for the first down. And we've got a Belfry Pirate shaking up a little bit. Yeah, now that is uh, number 23, 20, Horton. Uh, yes. Lawan Horton. Yep. And let's see, is he, he may be cramping up too, Larry. He's uh, putting that toe down, trying to stretch it out, it looks like. 78 yards on 20 carries now for Derek Pugh. He has two touchdowns. Also has a fumble that resulted in one of the scores for Belfry. Yep. Uh, now, Vitals offense is leading Belfry 22 to uh, 13 right now. They are. And the Number 32, and we don't have a 32 on our roster that's coming in for okay. Horton. Let's see, do we have not have 32? Nope, we don't, you're right. Yep. It'll be first and 10, Pikeville at the 33 yard line. 32, not a very big guy. He's going to play nose tackle. They might be able to run up the middle yep. on him. Yep, and they're going to try it. There's a the ball up the middle, and that's that Pew again after the 40. It is. Pew with another big run. Seven-yard pickup. And number 40 on the tackle for uh, Belfort. That's Hall. Pickup of eight for Pew. And Pew burning it up now. As the Panthers trying to put this one away. Yeah, and they're taking time off the clock. They're taking their time and letting that clock tick down. Pew lowers his head. Pew may be gone. He's out across the 40, 30, 20, 10, and they bring him down at the 10 yard line. A T. Dotson with a touchdown saving tackle. Yes, he was. I think they're going to say he went down at the nine. It'll be first and goal now for Pike. 31-yard burst that time for Pugh straight up the middle. Folks, we might have an upset brewing. Well, you know, this would be an upset. There is, I don't think there's any doubt about that. And it's going to be a big, but it's right now, Pike will in the driver's seat. Yes, he is. 117 yards on the ground for Derek Pugh. And he's going to get another chance. And Pugh down inside the five. Why not give it to him? Down to about the three-yard line. He'll be second down in goal. Number three with the tackle. That's Willis. So second down in two, or second down in goal from the two. 340 to play in the ball game. I will try to take at least an eight point lead, if not nine. And it's Pew again. And Pew is short. And Hamlet's coming off. Is that Pew's? It is. He's yep. going to have to come out of the game. So That's third and goal now from the two. We're going to have to tighten that helmet up. That's two times we've seen that happen. And yep. this is at a very critical time as it's going to be. Third and goal from the, uh, what is the one yard line? Yep, third and goal from the one. We've got uh, Charles in there at the fullback, Maynard at the tailback now. Well, you might look for Austin Charles on the keeper here. Yep. In the pistol, Charles in the shot, takes it, snaps it, and he's going to hand it off, and it is. Blake, Blake Charles. Blake Charles is going to be short. No signal so far, so. Still no signal. They're going to mark him right at the, goal, at the line. goal line. So fourth and goal now from the one-inch line, maybe, Larry. Yep. And here comes Derek Pugh back in. Well, Blake Charles the... stays in, so they're going to they'll probably uh, run the uh, maybe the power eye here and uh, uh, put uh, Blake Charles in. Well, now they're going to run just the pro set. Yep, going to go with that, go that uh, offset eye. Yep. And Hughes Hughes in. breaks the end zone. It's a touchdown for Pikeville. 28-20 now with 2.06 to play. And 
may be the biggest extra point in Bible in the, on the season now for Bible. Well, if they can convert the extra point, it'll make it a two-score game. Yep. You're right, and if they... Uh, and only two minutes to go, and that's a long time, not, not very much time for Belfry to score twice. Yes, it is. You're right. Is there a, was there a flag? I don't know. They're still down there having a discussion about something. Yes. I don't see one on the field anywhere that I can see. Dead ball. Dead ball. Dead ball. Oh, big. 15 yards, that'll make it. Eight backs it back to see it's a 28 yard extra point attempt now, Larry. Right. Well, actually, it'll be a 30, be a 30 35 yard. yard extra point attempt. Yep. LJ Alaire has the leg for it, and he's been very accurate. Let's see what we got. 28 20. 205 to play, and the long extra point. Snaps down, the kick is up. It is good. 29 20. Michael with the lead. 205 to play on the Intermountain Sports Network. And welcome back to Pikeville. Pikeville with a nine-point lead, 29-20, 2.05 to go. Charlie and huge extra point that time. Yep, Alara is going to kick it deep, and that one is going to go into the, well, he, he, they're going to let him bring it out. Yep. And he'll bring it out, he'll go down at the 12-yard line. I didn't think you could do that in high school. Well, what that is, Charlie, is he caught it over his shoulder. And that's called a momentum play. If you catch it in the field of play and your momentum takes you into the end zone, it's still live ball. Okay. So but Keith Henry called that, and I'll guarantee you that he's right on the call because Keith Henry is he's he's called for years and yep. even called championship games oh, yeah. down state. Well, I don't I'm not gonna question Keith. One wide out. Now they're going to have to go with the spread, Belfry. Well, no, they're going to have to throw it, though. They're going to have to start throwing it. Keaton rolling out, wanting to throw it. Keaton Taylor throwing it downfield. It is incomplete. Boy, nearly in, nearly intercepted that time by Eastep. Yep. Tell you what, Belfry in, a, in trouble. Yes, they are. Pikeville has played a great football game, though. They have. They took advantage of the opportunities that they've had. Belfry has shot herself in the foot several times with penalties. Of course, Pivel's had a couple too, and Pivel's been able to overcome their penalties, and Belfry has it. You're exactly right. <laughs> Belfry will come out again in that double slot, one wide out each way. They'll have motion out if they're going to flip it back. They're going to try to get Willis on the corners, and Willis trying to get out of bounds over there. Let's see. That was number 55 on the tackle for Pikeville. Pick up of about five. That would be Dalton Me. Minute 36 to play. It'll be third down and five coming up now for Belfry. And we've got players down with cramps again over on the sideline. I think that's Willis again. Ball carrier. Yep. So Belfry, I don't know if Belfry's got enough time. I just don't think. Well, a long way to you go. know, you got two scores. Right. So uh, they're going to have to score quick. And uh, then they'll have to go an onside kick and recover the fumble. So the odds is against them. Yeah, I mean, you know, and Belfry's style of offense is not uh, conducive to this kind of score. Looks like we're going to take them off the field for a water break or a timeout. So we'll take a break. 29-20 Pikeville with a minute 36 to play on the Intermountain Sports Network. Taylor coming out to the outside, trying to run it himself, and he is going to be dropped back inside the 20. Fumble, fumble, did he lose it? He did. Oh, Bill, Michael comes away with it. Uh, I think Belfry come up with it, number okay. 15 come up with it. Well, they may have stumbled it close enough to, they're on this side of the 20 from the mark over there, Larry. It's going to be close. And Ben Maynard put the big lick on that time. 
So fourth and about a yard to go, looks like. And a minute to play. And Hatfield, Hatfield will get the first down. That'll stop the clock with just under a minute to play. And Belfry in trouble. Yes, they are. Hatfield now with 13 carries for 98 yards. 57 seconds left, and the clock starts as soon as they uh, set the markers, and here we go. Yep. Man, I think Belfry, I think they know it. I think they're just going to try to score, and you know, I don't think they've got the time. Back to throw now is Taylor, and Taylor throwing it downfield, and it's going to be incomplete. Who is that that came across? Number Vanderbeck. 15, Vanderbeck. Vanderbeck got it. I think he got a finger on it, didn't he? I think he did. So down to 40 seconds to go in the ball game now, Larry. If this holds, looks like we've come up with our defensive and uh, player of the game is going to be, what did we decide there? Mr. Sloan, Sloan number 11, Mr. Sloan. And uh, Clay Sloan. And the Intermountain Sports uh, Deskins Motors player of the game will be Derek, Derek Pugh. Pugh. Derek Pugh's had a quite a ball game here tonight. Yes, he has. He had 19 carries, 119 yards, three touchdowns. Also laid it on the ground one time. Yeah, and Clay Sloan is the uh, John, Earl Hunt, John Earl Hunt Law Office defensive player of the game. And Taylor running it, uh, and they're, they're lose, they lose the football again. No, they're saying he's down. I see the official okay. saying he's down. And Belfry just, uh, I think they're going to try to run it, maybe see what can happen because they're down to 22 seconds. Yeah, they, they've not called no timeout. So. No. We have a official timeout for injury, I think. Spectre lost the helmet there. And now we're down to 18 seconds. Big win for this Pikeville yes. program, Charlie. Big win. Biggest win in several years. Back to throw. And throwing it downfield. Incomplete. Nearly picked off. And let's see, that was Noah Corbett at the quarterback throwing the football that time. And I see Maynard's one that broke it up. Who was it intended? I think it was number 27 that it was intended for. That would be Austin Woolham. And actually, Maynard was one that was uh, about to catch it, and Woolham turned into the defensive back yep. and actually kept Maynard from intercepting it. You're exactly right. And one more play, all that the – Pirates have and it's 29-20, so this ball game is over. Yes, it is. Pikeville comes away with a huge win. And back to throw, Corbett dancing around looking, throws it, got a man in. Did he catch it? Oh, he caught it. And Woolham trying to get to the outside. Woolham will go down. And it will be at the 44-yard line. And that will be the ball game, 29-20. Pikeville. Defeats Belfry in the upset. And we'll send it back to the station. We'll be back in just a few moments on the Intermountain Sports Network. And welcome back here to Pikeville as Pikeville has pulled the upset, folks, and just defeated Belfry 29 20. Uh, here at uh, Hillard Hard Field as uh, we'll go over some quick stats for uh, Belfry. Uh, Willis had seven carries, 66 yards and a touchdown. Hatfield with 13 carries, 98 yards. Edwards uh, carried the ball three times for a minus 10. Corbett one carry for six. Taylor uh, had uh, six carries, 87 yards and a touchdown. Fletcher one carry for one yard. Barney one carry for one yard. And Atkins one carry for nine yards. Uh, Taylor was 0 for 4 in the air. Belfry did not have any passing yards as uh, they were 0 for in the air. They had three penalties, uh, all 15 yarders and all three big penalties uh, helped stop drives. And on for the uh, Pikeville side, uh, Maynard had four carries for uh, 14 yards. Uh, Charles uh, had eight carries for 26 yards, a touchdown. He was sacked one time. He stepped one carry for 11 yards, but the big offensive guru for Pikeville was Derek Pugh again, 
as he had 19 carries, 119 yards, three touchdowns, also had a fumble that led to a touchdown for Belfry. Through the air, Charles, uh, uh, very good, uh, yeoman's work as uh, he had, uh, was 14 of 20 for 98 yards, had the one pick uh, late in the game that Belfry ended up scoring on. East Hip had five catches, 45 yards, three catches for Vanderbeck, uh, 16 yards, two for Sloan for five, one for Skeens for four yards, and two catches for Maynard for eight yards. Fightville had five uh, penalties, so Pikeville moves to 5-0 and on the year. Belfry drops to 3-1, and and our Deskins Motors uh, IMSN player of the game, Derek Pugh, and also the uh, John Earl Hunt uh, defensive uh, player of the game will go to uh, number 11, Clay Sloan. Sloan had uh, four tackles tonight, but two of those tackles was for a loss, had a uh, fumble recovery, and also had a pass uh, defense. So Clay Sloan, the defensive player of the game, that's going to wrap us up here tonight. Again, our final score, 29-20. Pikeville takes down Belfry. So Mark back at the station and Charlie Pinson. On the play-by-play, -play, this is Larry Cecil saying so long. Tune us in next Friday night for another exciting high school football game.